Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading uh, for the week of uh, October 16th. We're just going to jump right in here, Pisces. Uh, you start off with this poise card in this chaos and conflict card. So, you know, I feel um, right away that some of you, you know, what else, here's what I'll say is that this chaos and conflict card says that you might be thinking that there, that there is a lot of chaos and conflict going on around you, but really you're actually in a time of um, where things are you know, like better than you think. And you have that poise card as well, which really says that you are poised, you are ready for some sort of success uh, to come in. So, you know, I feel like some of you um, need to realize that you are in a position in life where things are about to get a lot better. Or things are about to improve for you in a big way. And that's really how I see this reading going is that, you know, you might be thinking that things are kind of chaotic around you, but um, you're actually ready for some sort of major success in your life or um, you're ready for things to improve. So uh, let's see where this is going. Uh, you have the um, Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Page of Swords showing up in your first row here. Uh, so again, I feel like you're ready to go. That Emperor energy is really saying to me that um, that it's kind of time for you to get moving on something, which I know I say to you every single reading, but you know, the thing is, Pisces, I feel like if you were just, if you would just invest like, you know, a, just a tiniest little, you know, bit of effort here with the six of pentacles into like whatever your crazy ass goal, wish or dream is, um, you know, again, I know I say this every time, but you know, I really feel you would see just how well it's going to move forward for you, just like how successful it will be. So like, don't be afraid to put the work in here. Um, <clears throat> and again, I think you're coming out of this time of chaos and conflict and it, it's like you're ready for success. The universe is saying you're ready. Uh, I feel like you are saying you're not ready. <laughs> that's that's the energy I get off of this reading. And I mean, I've, I've been kind of getting this energy for you for a while. Um, and, you know, maybe there's a lot to do as well. I, you know, I don't want to necessarily like waste a bunch of your time and spend a ton of time on this. But, you know, I kind of feel that maybe whatever you're setting out to do, uh, you know, there are a lot of moving parts. There's like a lot of stuff to do. We even see that here. Eight of Wands, good card, but there's like a lot to do with Eight of Wands. You have the Ten of Wands right next to it. The Ten of Wands goes to the Wheel of Fortune here as well. So it's kind of like there are a lot of responsibilities. There are a lot of things that you're having to do to get closer to your dream. That could be the chaos part of things going on here. The Poise card, though, says you're ready. You know, it says you're ready to handle this. You have the, uh, again, Four of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Page of Swords. I think that the, I think old Pisces maybe can't handle this, right? And maybe that's what you're holding on to is, you know, just old ideas, old um old belief systems, you know, uh, thinking that you can't handle things or thinking that you can't uh, make something happen. So, you know, I feel there is a need to really believe in yourself here, Pisces, really believe that you can do what you want to do. At, you know, I feel like there's really a need to um, believe that you can kind of like make things happen, you know, just in general is what I'm getting. Uh, you have the four, uh, emperor here. I feel like the emperor is asking you to take control and make things happen. Um, so, you know, the Emperor, he's ready to go at a moment's notice. He's got these, uh, his armor on right here underneath his cloak. So uh, it kind of says that he is ready to go at a moment's notice. He is ready to take action in a direction, uh, no matter what, whenever, whenever the, whenever the moment strikes, right? He is ready to go. So I feel like that is you. It's like you have everything you need to uh, take control of your reality at this time. Uh, you have the Page of Swords. Again, I feel like you're worried that things are immature, that things are, that you're not ready uh, to be successful or to, you know, take a big risk or do something. And I feel like the Page of Swords is saying, well, again, you might think that things are immature, things have not developed. But, you know, if we go this way right here, <laughs> it kind of says that Th that you have everything you need. Um, you know, Eight of Wands is quick success and Six of Pentacles is like just taking that first step, as I always say to you. So I feel you just have to take that first step and, you know, you will be successful. I mean, basically, you know, there you go. With the Four of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card. Temperance is cause and effect as well, kind of like the Six of Pentacles, kind of like justice. Uh, temperance is a different, is kind of different because it's more like you can turn a negative into a positive, you can turn a positive into a negative with uh, Temperance. It's all up to you. So it's a, about taking control of your transformation. And I feel like you are transforming, but you have to, it's almost like this reading is saying that you have to step in 
to the transformation. You know, you have to step into your, you know, go. You have to go from being a, you know, a guppy to a great white. You have to step into that, you know, great white energy is kind of like what I'm getting here. Uh, with the emperor, you have the three of swords. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a heartbreak or a separation that you could be healing from, but I don't know. This actually looks pretty good. I mean, you know, this could be a past heartbreak, but you know, you page of cups, queen of cups. There definitely could be something new coming in for you. I wouldn't really call this a love reading yet. You do have the uh, four of wands. So, you know, four of wands is a card of marriage. Um, there, could, there could be an Aries coming in for some of you, but uh, let's see. Uh, with the page of swords, you have the world. Uh, like, like you are on top of the world. You are, you know, you really need to take advantage of this energy. Uh, the world is accomplishments. And so I feel that there is a lot for you to accomplish. I also get, that, you know, sometimes I just think the world is a portal card meaning that you are, you know, being birthed into something new. In the Major Arcana, we go from the fool to the world, and then we just start all over again as the fool when we get to the world. And so it's like you're uh, stepping into this new transformation, which is what I'm getting here with the Temperance card. It's like you're ready to transform. So that's definitely uh, popping into my head here. Uh, next, in the area of uh, the unexpected, you have this card that says, Starfish, open inf infinite possibilities. You have this dove, it says, be peace. I feel like the universe is asking you to stop worrying with the be peace card here. I feel like it's saying that you need to uh, stop worrying and focus on you know, what you do have <clears throat> and focus on what you can control in your life. I feel there are infinite possibilities. There is an unlimited amount of stuff that you can accomplish if you set your mind to it. Um, it's funny that in your next row, you have a Mary, this card that says a Mary motive. It has a star on it. I'll show you in a minute. And you have this great big love card as well. So, you know, I feel like you need to uh, move towards things that you love, which is what I believe everybody needs to do right now anyway. I mean, it's just the collective energy. Um, but also, I feel like you need to move towards things that bring you uh, joy and happiness here. I kind of get the sense that some of you, even, you know, I know I'm speaking generally in this reading. I think this reading is very general. I think it's about you transforming. It's about you. It's not about like a specific situation other than you. <laughs> so I think that's where this reading is going. It, but what I would say is like, if you have a job that you don't like, then I feel that Mary Motive card is saying you, there are jobs that you would like. So go get something, you know, different because, you know, it'll just raise your vibration. Again, I think people don't realize like how much worse our life gets when we do something we hate. It brings us down and down and down, right? And so again, I think that people think, um, you know, we justify those things. We say to ourselves like, oh, well, I need a job, so I have to stay in this job and blah, 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 even though we don't have to, right? So, and I'm not saying it's like gonna be super easy to go find another job, but at least start the process. Six of Pentacles says, just start planting the seeds and you will be happy with what happens. So, you know, again, and there are infinite possibilities, so stay open. You have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Uh, I feel like there's new love. There could be new love coming for you here. Uh, definitely could be another water sign. I mean, it could be any sign. You have basically everything here. It could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, you know, it could be anything, really. It could be an air sign. <laughs> it could be anything. Um, there's something here about not talking, though is what I would say. You know, it's funny that you have the Eight of Wands here, and then you have the King and Queen of Swords. Um, these are my least uh, favorite divine counterparts right here. Uh, they are showing up in the area of the good stuff. This last row is gonna represent the good stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's gonna be good, but at the same time, it's like, what what is the problem here, Pisces? I don't know if like someone is not talking to you, if there is no communication yet. It could just be that you just don't know this person yet. Um, I'm still not sure, so we're gonna have to dig into it. But I would say like, you know, right here, you have the Eight of Wands, which says there needs to be communication. So if you have your eye on a person, you know, I would communicate, number one. Uh, if you don't, uh, the Eight of Wands to me, well, the Eight of Wands with the Page of Cups is like going towards some sort of dream. And again, I think that what you need to realize is when you start to, I know I said this to you in your last reading, Pisces, I know for a fact, so, you know, I really get this feeling that you're in a time where if you would just take that first step towards your goal, wish, or dream, you would actually manifest it uh, very, very quickly. Eight of Wands is quick success, you know, quick conclusion, things happening quickly. But, you know, right here, the Six of Pentacles really says you have to take the first step. So, you know, there you go. I'm not, I don't want to beat a dead horse. So uh, you have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups says you need to move towards your heart. Literally, moving to, towards your heart will change your destiny right here uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. 
I don't believe we actually change our destiny with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, just so you know. <laughs> it is a card of your destiny and all that other stuff, but it's like how you see it. It is your personal vision for your life. So, you know, to me, the Wheel of Fortune is more, it's not so much like magical. Like sometimes I think people hear the word destiny and they think like, you know, something more magical or something like that. But the Wheel of Fortune is more how you see your life going. And, um, but again, I feel like if you follow your heart, then you are going to kind of be more on the path of your destiny, which is gonna make you feel better. With the Page of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like you were breadcrumbed in the past here, obviously. <clears throat> and excuse me. I feel like you were breadcrumbed in the past. I feel like you're trying to protect your happiness here as well. I'm getting a million things in this reading. Um, I would say this is a very active reading, like much more active than you know what I've been getting for you in the past as well. I kind of feel it's good though. Um, you know, because obviously you're, you're poised. This is my favorite, like one of my favorite cards in this deck. It says you're being lifted up on a pedestal. Who doesn't want to be on a pedestal, right? But this is like a good pedestal. But what I would say is, again, some of you could be like overprotective of yourself. Maybe that's the problem here in opening up. So if someone approaches you, I would definitely open up. I But I do also feel there could be a person who's interested in you. Um, it, but again, I'm telling you right now, I feel uh, this is, I don't know, this is a warning to that person, right? <laughs> I feel like if they don't open up, you're just going to be done here is what I get. Definitely could be an air sign or they have like a lot of air in their chart or something. I get them, you know, thinking about things a lot, but like not speaking up. So, and I, but again, I feel like you're done playing, playing games. So, you know, I kind of feel you're very much more, it doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel you're much more the king of swords here, much more decisive. It's like, you know, if someone comes to you and they can't make up their mind, I feel like, okay, you're like, okay, I'll, I'm making up my mind. No, and you're just like walking away. I feel like you're being very matter of fact, which is how you should be. This is a good thing. Uh, with the eight of wands, you have the seven of swords. I would be careful of a past person here. I feel like they're still a liar. Um, you know, you've had a liar in your readings for a while, uh, like a breadcrumber, someone who didn't give you the time of day anyway, um, someone who wasted your time. So I would just be careful of that if they're coming back. Um, here we go with the Queen of Cups. You have the Six of Cups. I would definitely be careful of a past person. I, I like you know. Again, I know I always say I don't read the Six of Cups as an ex coming back. That's not what it means. I mean, there are so many old tarot reading books, like um, you know, Golden Tarot, for example, says do not go back to the past with the Six of Cups specifically. It's just a card of thinking about the past, um, and really, it's a gift from the universe. Um, so again, but what I will say is, you know, it's funny that I just said that, and then <laughs> the Six of Cups comes up. So I would be careful, uh, you know, of a past person. Other than that, um, you know, this could be you focusing on a turnaround here uh, and needing to have a turnaround. Um, the Six of Cups is a gift from the universe in the sense that we can do something that we've been trying to do. Um, you know, we maybe we've been bumping up against an obstacle. Six of Cups comes in, it removes the obstacle. But I kind of feel like you have to, um, you know, it's like you're trying to create a turnaround here. Uh, next, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this great big love card here. So, you know, there could be a great big love coming in for you. You have this merry motive card as well. So a lot of happiness. But I kind of feel like you're more on this path to happiness as in you are doing, you're more protecting the things, um, you know, the things that make you happy or you're more pr kind of like wanting to do more that makes you happy in life. And that's kind of what I get here is that you're very focused on, you know, your own happiness or, or doing things that bring joy and happiness into your life. Uh, I do feel like there could be love here, but again, I feel like you're very intolerant. <laughs> in, and I mean that in the best way possible. So again, like if someone is, you know, if someone is playing, if they're not sure, you know, or if they, if a person, you know, I don't know, I just get this feeling here, right? I'm not sure if this is good or bad with this king of swords, queen of swords. I kind of feel like it's 50-50 for some of you. I feel like this person is going to be like, not sure. And then you're just like, okay, don't, then don't talk to me, go somewhere else, right? For others, I feel like this person might get that vibe off of you that you are that way, which is good. And so they will just be sure, right? Um, but there's something about like certainty here. And you, I feel like you've learned your lesson. Like if a person is giving you vibes that they're not sure, then you're not sure. And you're like, okay, I'll find someone else, plain and simple. And you know, I, I kind of get that energy here. Uh, I also get that you need to follow your heart. Obviously, your heart is telling you to do something has been for like all year, at least in my readings. And I feel like you need to start working on whatever you're working on. You have the six of pentacles, 10 of wands, and the four of wands. Even if things are not perfect, I'll tell you, like I'm working on a project behind the scenes and it's taken like two years. It's taken a long, like a long ass time. I've had like these ideas, putting things together. Every single time I, um, you know, hire someone to like build stuff out and all this other stuff on this project. 
you know, so many things have come up over like the last two years, like as I've been working on it and like finally getting to the finish line, you're all going to find out soon, <laughs> soonish, soon enough. And, um, you know, it's like every time like something pops up. Right. And, um, but I've just had to like keep pushing and I kind of get that energy on the six of pentacles for whatever reason, where it's like saying, you know, if you've been working towards something and every single time something pops up, um, you know, just keep pushing, you know, keep going. Don't give up with the six of pentacles. Keep putting the energy in. Six of Pentacles is about investing in the right things and um, kind of like pushing forward. So I see that a lot of you are kind of putting your energy in the right things or you're very, you're much more kind of like specific about where you're putting your energy. You have the Ten of Wands, which is like carrying a heavy burden. So I feel like you've been carrying a lot of responsibilities and now it's time for you to pick and choose which responsibilities you're gonna carry. Um, you know, Ten of Wands to me is a good card. He's been carrying this heavy weight for a long time. But this is his harvest. He planted those wands in his field and he's about to reach his home right here in the background. So he's about to have a harvest, which is kind of what I feel for you, Pisces. I feel like you're about to have this harvest, but you need to, uh, you know, not give up, right? Uh, you have this four wands. I do feel like there could be someone who is very interested in you just in general. So, you know, definitely could be marriage. Um, this could also be your commitment. I think your commitment to something has been tested. Um, you know, so again, if you be, like me, if you've been working on something for like two years and trying to make something uh, come together, then, you know, I feel like this is saying you're, it, it, we're getting to the end of that, you know, testing period where, you know, you, uh, where you're constantly being tested. Uh, let's see, uh, with the four of pentacles, you have the queen of pentacles here. Uh, it could be an earth sign coming in for some of you. You do have uh, Capricorn here with the world card, Capricorn with the queen of pentacles. So, you know, take out resonates. Um, this could also be you increasing your resources. So, you know, I kind of feel this is just good as far as resources are concerned. You know, with the 10 of wands, you have the uh, knight of cups. Could be a person sweeping you off your feet. You know, this could be a person who really wants to uh, take some burdens off of your shoulders. Uh, that type of person, much more kind of like helpful vibe here. Um, I, I don't know, I'm getting Harry Potter is popping into my head. I'll show you why. <laughs> Look at this lightning bolt on his... Uh, helmet here i've never noticed that and so you know it could be like attracting a very magical person as well pisces into your life there you go with the four of wands you have the tower uh the tower uh has been coming up for everyone it just doesn't surprise me again this could be um you know kind of like <coughs> excuse me some of you could be experiencing uh like divorce or separation or you have for others i kind of get this is more like your views on relationships and commitments it's like maybe um you know a past person ruined your views on you know relationships or commitments or something like that um but i almost feel like you're kind of like rebuilding your understanding of relationships or you know kind of like what they can look like or something along those lines could also be a scorpio that's coming in for you uh, at the end here for the good stuff you have this designer card it says uh, find a creative strategy to improve your finances yes i would definitely do that it also says tune into your individual um individuality and don't be afraid to be different i'm pretty sure in your last reading you had something about that said do not be afraid to be different so there you go uh, don't be like everybody else you have this card that says spend less time worrying about your appearance you are enough how weird is that two cards kind of like about appearance as well so I would definitely let go of how you, uh, fearing like how you appear to other people. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune, uh, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. I would be careful of a past person Wheel of Fortune here. Um, even going this way, it's like, you know, someone could be coming in telling you that they're like, um, you know, getting a divorce or something like that or a separation, but I feel like they're still a liar. So, you know, I would just be very, very careful of that situation. You know, especially if it was like a Scorpio and there was some sort of weird, um, you know, marriage thing going on there. Could have been a Sagittarius as well. Um, you know, and, and again, I, like, I feel like this person was very unsure and I feel like you need to protect yourself from unsure energy, Pisces. That's like the gist of this reading. I feel like it's saying, Pisces, you are, you know, I feel like you are very much in this decisive energy. So like when someone comes into your life and they make you question things, it's not you, it's them. So <laughs> I feel like you need to protect yourself from anyone who enters into your life, who makes you feel unsure. I feel like that is your, like, I don't know if that's your lesson, so to speak, or anything like that, but I feel like that's what you've learned is that you are sure of yourself. And if someone else isn't, then that's on them. <laughs> and uh, so you're just being more decisive and more clear. Again, this is the good stuff, so it's gonna be good no matter what. And you have the Queen of Swords here. Could be a divine counterpart coming up here. Again, I read intuitively, so even though I label the rose, I still don't try to like force it. And, um, you know, you know, I feel like someone needs to speak up here just in general. So if you're meeting a new person, make sure to communicate. 
Uh, I do feel like you're very clear on your future. She is clear for the first time. King of Swords, very clear as well. Kind of telling me again that you are ready for major action. I feel like things are about to turn around for you big time. Pisces, a lot of success. Um, you know, and again, sometimes I think if you've been on a long journey for a long time where you've been trying to get things to work and they haven't been, it can just seem like things are never going to work. It, you know, it can put you in that place where you're like, oh my God, nothing is ever going to change. Everything is always going to be the same. But really, I feel things are turning around for you. It's like your fortunes are changing here. Things are getting better and you're, again, poised and ready for success. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Four Wands. I'm telling you right now, this way is pretty good. So, you know, I would pick a new person. Uh, could lead to marriage. Could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, or a Sag with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, could be any sign. This is a general reading. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person, what you need to realize is this person makes your life easier. I'm wondering if you dealt with a past person where it's like you were always wondering what's going on, which was like stealing your mental energy. You know what I mean? It's like this person adds to your life. They don't subtract from your life. It's like, there's nothing, I feel like there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to think about, which is like a good thing. You know, it's like this person doesn't add burdens onto your life. And that's like the important thing here. It And you don't have to like save this person. They don't have a bunch of issues and all this other stuff. So, you know, again, I feel like this is something different than what you're used to. Um, but they're like a healed person or maybe they just never needed healing in the first place, right? Maybe it's just a person who's just they're, they just are who they are. <laughs> and I again, I feel like this is a good thing. Uh, with the King of Swords, you have the Two of Swords. Uh, Two of Swords is finding another way to do things in the area of the good stuff. It would represent kind of uh, finding a new solution to something that's been stuck in your life. We do get a little bit of stuck energy here. Even I felt it on the Eight of Wands as well um, for whatever reason. So uh, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. Eight of Wands to me is a good card no matter what. So um, but I, again, I read intuitively. I was getting something about like kind of being stuck or something. But again, it looks like you're getting unstuck. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the High Priestess. Yeah, definitely trust your intuition here uh, for sure. You're not moving. <laughs> I feel like you are kind of like, you know, she's still like sitting in the middle of the card. In, but I feel like saying you can't be moved. But I mean this in like a good way. It's like it doesn't matter if, you know, someone comes into your life. And, you know, if it's like a past person with all these like things, all these apologies and everything like that, I feel like you're like sitting on your square. You know, that's like, the, that's what I mean here. It's like you, no one, that's, if you have a past person, like they can't tug on your heartstrings any longer. And, you know, I feel like you're immovable with this energy. Uh, if you are trying to accomplish something, again, I feel you are immovable here. It's like you are not willing to be moved off your square. I feel like you're very much like very focused, you know, that's kind of like what I get here. Uh, very interesting reading, Pisces, but uh, we're going to pull five themes. You have this uh, Taming the Wind card. Again, I, I like this card. Someone else just had this card as well. So, um, you know, for those of you that say, why don't you shuffle? Uh, I do shuffle, in, but I just don't waste 40 minutes at the beginning of every reading doing it. So there you go. But what I would say is that the Taming card is... Um, a card of like, you know, if wind just blowing around doesn't do anything, but there are like machines that can cut metal with wind, basically. They, you know, compress air and force it through a tiny little nozzle and it can cut through metal, right? So it's like when you have focus, king of swords, queen of swords, um, one thing, you can cut through anything. And that I feel like that's what that's saying. Uh, you have this ace of pentacles here. Yeah, there's definitely something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. Uh, I feel like it's going to be very successful. You have this Tree of Life card here. The Tree of Life is a card of abundance and more abundance entering into your life. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you here. And you have this Five of Pentacles. Um, <laughs> and the Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. It wants you to focus on your strengths. And again, I feel like that's what you need to do here. Um, you know, Ten of Wands to me, can, which you have here, it can be a card of trying to be perfect, you know, trying to, he's carrying all these heavy burdens, but it's like, maybe he's trying to be good at being at too many things instead of just being good at what he's good at, right? You have that great big love card, which is like telling me that maybe you just need to be loyal to what you love in life and um, not try to be everything else, you know? <laughs> and, you know, again, with that taming the wind card, being more focused, more specific in life is going to make you more successful. Uh, you have this staff card. I'm getting like Ace of Wands energy here. So out with the old, in with the new. Uh, definitely, I feel like you are poised and ready for something new. I feel like you're ready for a new beginning. I feel like you're ready to create something much better in life. Uh, looks really good here, Pisces. So uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.